Hi everyone. I wanted to just show how I was playing around with Voice Studio here in Moises and this is the free version. It does say coming soon, but actually it's here, it's over here. And it does exactly what it says. It transforms the timbre of an original vocal recording to mirror the style of one of our world-class AI voice models. So kind of put aside what you might think of AI and think about kind of the possibilities of using this in a classroom. So let me show you. If I go into this, I have some options. I can upload a file, I can record directly into it. And there's another option I have in here um, as well. Yeah, you can record or pull something from storage. Um, but what I did was this, let me show you. So I'm going to start with this little snippet from Chapel Roan. And you know this, <laughs> if you watch the Grammys this week, you haven't escaped this song, though I gotta tell you, I'm getting into more and more of her recordings, but take a listen to this. Pink Pony Club. So you know it. So what it did was it analyzed it and then it pulled from its library over here. They pulled Amber, you, me, I hope I'm saying that right, Amelia and Glennis to sing, if like close to singing what she sings. And then I pulled Amy because her name was the same as mine. So take a listen to them singing this song by Chapel Roan. Oh, I keep on dancing now it was. Oh, I keep on dancing. Oh, I keep on dancing. So there's a lot to be desired there. One of the problems is if I need to split the track first and just have her vocals because anytime you hear the grunting, it's because the voices are trying to imitate the drums. So you do want a pure vocal track. So you could go into the track separation and separate out that track and just have Chapel's vocals. It's interesting though, because this is a great guided discussion you can have with your upper elementary students or middle school students or high school students on compare and contrast the AI voice with the actual voice. Um, but there's another way too that it can be used. So I go back into one of the files. This time I just recorded myself singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now I didn't record it well <laughs> and I'm um, very, very wispy and kind of airy. Take a listen. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now, when it analyzed it, it brought out John, Harry, Marcus, and Kate. So take a listen, and then again, I brought out Amy. So let's take a listen to this. How I wonder what you are. I like Amy. John. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Harry. How I wonder what you are. Marcus. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Kate. How I wonder what you are. So I think Kate's voice is sharp, just like me. Um, I think Kate's voice comes in the closest. But what could you do with this one in your classroom? Even if you can't put this free site on your students' devices, put it on yours, and that one student who's just way too shy to sing, this might get them to sing. They come up and they sing into this. Moises analyzes it and then puts in these AI tools and then they can kind of hear what their voice sounds like in artificial intelligence. And again, they can compare and contrast and say, ooh, I like this, um, I wish it did this, you know. But it's something to get them going, listening, analyzing, discussing, and getting your shyest singers singing. So just something you can do with the free version of Moises using the voice studio. I hope it generates some ideas.